All right, fellow collectors, this is Diffuser now. And finally, <laughs> finally, finally, I found a Hot Toys Scarecrow. I was looking for this figure for almost a year now. After uh, I received my Hot Toys um, Harvey Dent Two-Face last year, I was desperately looking for this uh, Scarecrow figure to, uh, well, not complete my Dark Knight uh, collection, but to uh, complete the, the the villains of the Dark Knight and uh, the Dark Knight or the Batman Begins and the Dark Knight Rises and this was uh, the one I was searching for and yeah I finally found one and I'm extremely happy with it as these ones are hard to find nowadays and it looks <laughs> so awesome I mean, it's quite an older figure now. Um, the body underneath uh, the true type isn't as good as uh, the new true types. Well, it's almost the same, but it feels a bit outdated. I don't know why. It's uh, you have to feel it uh, to um, to believe it, sort of way. And the uh, outfit underneath, or the, the suit, isn't as well tailored the Hot Toys figures nowadays but uh, I've just uh, put the uh, straight jacket over the suit the damaged straight jacket which is a bit um, weathered and it looks <laughs> it looks so awesome it's incredible head sculpt it's a bit of a shame it doesn't come with the uh, Cillian Murphy uh, head sculpt. But I doubt I will ever display him uh, with, um, with that one. That was included. Because this is the iconic Scarecrow. As we all know from the Batman Begins movie. It's got a uh, standard Hot Toys stand. The boots are really nice in detail. And overall, this figure, figure looks really impressive. I really like this uh, battle damaged effect here. Or just, I don't know if it's battle damaged. It's just damaged. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy to uh, finally add this in my, into my collection. And as you can see, next to the uh, DX01 and the uh, Bank Robber Joker, it looks stunning. And here we have another, another set of villains, Bane, DX11. Only two face, and there is another uh, Dark Knight setup. So I think I'm finished with uh, the Dark Knight uh, line of Hot Toys figures, but I do want a um, Hot Toys uh, Batman Begins figure, but that one has a lot of problem problems with uh, with his ankles. So um, I'm kind of uh, hesitant to uh, to pick that one up because it's uh, so pricey nowadays, and I don't think I will, I will be paying uh, over four hundred dollars or euros for that figure because I already own a uh, Enter Bay Batman Begins one four scale. But who knows? Maybe for the right price, one day I'll pick it up. But for now. I think I'm done with the Dark Knight line. But they might do a uh, Ra's al Ghul in the future. Maybe as a uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, who knows. And of course I have to pick that one up. If they do make it. But we don't know yet. But anyway, for now. 
The Hot Toys Scarecrow is in my collection and I'm happy with it, extremely happy with it. So yeah, thanks for watching again guys. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, I wanted to do a shout out to a fellow collector and YouTuber, Anthony Tseng. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but you have to uh, check out his channel. He makes awesome uh, custom uh, Iron Man uh, dioramas and um, Hall of Armor and whatever. He, he does amazing things and it's a, it's a great guy also. So yeah, a big shout out to him. I put the this description in the, this video below so you can check out his channel and subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'm Diffuser now and I'm signing out.